Hank, what's up? Wanted to do a quick tip. Uh, this video should be going out while I'm at a tournament, so this should be fun. Uh, this is a PA3. Why do I have a PA3 in my hand? Well, as you've seen by the title of the video, I want to talk about, just really quick, about throwing down a hill. Uh, it's been requested uh, in the comments a few times, and I don't have a lot of hills to throw on around here, so I got over to Daphne, Alabama, and you guys... You've seen some of the footage on that course, and it's in my F5 review if you haven't. Uh, great course, and it has some elevation. So, let's talk about throwing downhill. Uh, the footage you're about to see is 250, 280 feet tops, straight downhill. I'm doing little standstills, and I'm taking a PA3, which is pretty neutral putter. Uh, it's going to go dead straight and slowly finish. Uh, but on a downhill, you're going to notice that it gets really stable at the very end. And that's what I want to talk about when you're throwing downhill. When you throw downhill, the disc is going to tend to over-exaggerate what it normally would do. Does that, does that make sense? I'll give you an example. If I were to throw this on a flat shot, straight to straight, it's going to go out pretty straight and finish pretty straight. Uh, if I throw it downhill, it's got a lot longer time to get to the ground. So as it's getting to the ground, it has a lot longer to slow down, which means as it slows down, it's going to start hysering out. Um, you know, that's what I mean by it exaggerates what it does. When you're throwing down the hill, your disc is coming down, coming down, coming down. It's got so much time to get back to hyzer. Uh, same thing with the forehand. You know, I, I throw this H2 and it just, just extreme dive. It just dive, 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 because it has so much time to do that. You know, if I was throwing that side arm on a nice flat shot, it would go out, do a little skip, and be done. But since it has so much time to get down, it's going to over-exaggerate what it does. So my tip when you're throwing downhill is to pick a little less stable disc, and you don't have to put as much on it. So yeah, that was a quick look. Uh, I hope it answered a couple of you guys' questions. I know you guys were commenting in the comment section about it, and uh, Florida's pretty flat, so getting a little least in this area. Getting a little downhill footage is uh, not too easy, but we got it done. So, uh, as always, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to uh, share it with anybody that's struggling, trying to throw it downhill, share it to them. Uh, bring them on over. We got a bunch of beginner friendly tips for them. You guys know that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We've been doing great on, on our subscribers. About half of the people that are watching the videos are subscribed. Think about that for a second. That's kind of scary. Uh, we'd actually have twice as many subs. Insane! But, uh, yeah. You guys? Yeah, guys. As always, take it easy.